Hello there and salam ibu pertiwiku. In conjunction with the upcoming Maulidu Rasul celebration at Padang Merdeka Kuching, members of the public are urged to take note of the road closures and detours on November 7th and November 9th. The State Traffic Investigation and Enforcement Division in a statement issued yesterday said that there will be road closures and detours around the field with the full rehearsal on November 7th, which will be started at 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. The road closures and detours also affect Jalan Main Bazar to Jalan Tun Abang Haji Openg, Jalan Gambir to Jalan Main Bazar, Jalan Wawasan and Jalan McDougall to Padang Merdeka and Jalan Tun Abang Haji Openg to Jalan Barak near RTM traffic light. Members of the public who are attending the celebration are advised to park their vehicles at the specified locations which are Jalan Tunku Abdul Rahman, Jalan Ku Hun Yang, Reservoir Park, Saujana Building and near India Street. The upgraded multi-purpose lawn ball arena is expected to be the ideal venue for hosting a variety of events in the future. Actually, the multi-purpose venue was specially built for this event by transforming the lawn ball arena into 20 badminton courts. And this multi-purpose venue would be ideal to host multi-sports events in the future. Speaking at the 26th World Masters Badminton Championship dinner last night, Chief Minister Dato Patinggi Abang Zuhari Tun Abang Ji Openg said, with the presence of such a world-class venue and facility in Sarawak, it would further enhance the interest of the players and the community to participate in and develop the badminton sports arena. Meanwhile, the racket sports fans also had the opportunity to meet and watch world-class badminton players like Taufik Hidayat, Tan Bun Kiong, Ku Kin Kiat and Bubi Ertanto. He hopes that the World Badminton Federation and Badminton Federation of Malaysia, BAM, will continue to support Sarawak in hosting the badminton tournament in the future. Moving on to the updates on the incident of City One Mega Mall blast on December 4th last year. The Sessions Court in Kuching has fixed April 6th to 8th, 2020 for the trial of Chia Yin Yitsiong, who is charged with failing to provide safety measures that led to three deaths during an explosion at City One Mega Mall. Chia, a 56-year-old subcontractor, is charged under Section 17, Subsection 1 of the Occupational Safety and Health Act, OSHA 1994, for allegedly failing to provide practical safety measures while performing pipe installation works at the mall. He may be fined up to 50,000 ringgit or two years jail or both upon conviction. Four entities have so far been charged for similar offences, City One MC Sundaram Berhad, Borneo Landmark M Sundaram Berhad, which is represented by their director Stephen Long Tain Chung, Electronic Electrical Company Manager Xin Yen and Chia Yit Siong, the subcontractor. To date, three men were killed while several others injured from the explosion. And that is all for now. Keep updated to News at TV Sarawak. I'm Shira Abang Mansor. Thank you for watching.